Glyph mentioned that you weren't feeling well. Are you doing any better, Palomina? Apologies for my abrupt absence. Val and I have to tell you two of the sight we saw from the Cape. Hang on. You still look pale. I think you should lie down at the inn for a bit. We can talk to the people here and dig a little deeper into the Wall of Wave story while Palomina recovers. I know this melody. I just heard it. Once very long ago, a prince and princess, sundered by walls of water, vowed their love within the temple halls of mortar. How romantic! But wait! That sounds like the start of a poem. How does it end? Hmm. For some reason, I can only recall the start of the sonnet. The remaining refrains I cannot remember. What do they do after they get to the temple? Val, the verse is the very same tune I heard on the cape. What does that mean? Maybe that ballad has something to do with the wall of waves. Like, one causes the other or something. If memory serves, there was a grand temple located near Tsata. That would be Tato Temple, I believe. It is on the waterfront to the west of here. Hey. Let's make a detour and visit Tato Temple. It might clear a few things up. Right. Nothing will change if we don't take action. Let's prepare to head out tomorrow morning. Young Soul Guard. A word? Nothing good will come of visiting Tato Temple. It's rumored to be haunted, with monster nests infesting every inch of the grounds. The danger we face on the journey is all part of the job. We each have our duties to fulfill, and mine is being the Soul Guard. I haven't forgotten what you said, but I don't have an answer yet. All I can do is go forward and face whatever comes my way. <laughs> Brave words, Soul Guard. By the laws of this land, all we own belongs to everyone. We give and take in equal measure. This is the Salamando Candle, the Vessel of Fire. It was given to a hero of legend by the Goddess of Mana herself. Originally guarded in Tiania, over much time and many owners, the vessel came to us here in Sata. Now it seems right to entrust its fire powers to you. Thank you so much. Hopefully this will help us get through a haunted temple. May your endeavor be successful. Ready? Then west we go to Tato Temple. The tales make it sound like a particularly perilous place. We should ensure that we are as prepared as possible. This city sees travelers from all around. I would assume that we have our choice of some good weapons and armor in the shops. I should look around town to prep for the journey to Tato Temple. Over here! Welcome! What will it be? Please stop by again. Please peruse. Welcome. Please peruse what we have. Come again soon. Oh, there. You're the group of travelers that took the Salamando Candle from Glyph, right? Uh, sorry for taking it from the city. Did you need it? Don't worry. No one here would begrudge you a candle. We have the sun in the sky and the stars in the firmament to light our way. But I did hear that Glyph let you leave without a single word of explanation on how to use the thing. 
Typical glyph. Let me share with you what knowledge we've got about the candle. Good luck. Enjoy your haunted temple and try not to get cursed, okay? See you on the other side. The free... the power of the elements. This is just the beginning. So this is the power of the spirits. This is just the beginning. The spirits are calling to me. I'm eager to try out my new skills. with this new strength.
Is this proof of my new power? I can aid my allies with this new strength. Yeah, they even gave us a Salamando candle. Will you be able to make the journey, Palomina? We can rest more if need be. Your concern is appreciated. A haunted temple, so they say. But what constitutes a haunted? Could be your belong with monsters. Or maybe it has something to do with the Wall of Flames. Either way, we won't know until we get there. This should be the last of them. Did people used to live around here in the past? I guess is yeah. <sighs> everyone.
our next move. Everyone, proceed with your mind. I anticipate. Tear move. Carry me where I need to go. Looks like this will carry me where I need to go. Thanks for watching out for Palomina, Fel. She might have walked straight off the edge if you weren't there to stop her. Yeah, she was way out of it. It was scary. We should still keep an eye on her during this trip to Tato, just in case. Stronger for every battle.
Watch yourselves, everyone! You're not nearly your way! Smooth us! Silted boomerang! And do not lock your defenses until the two are away! This is an interesting find. You will not stand in the way of our goal! Yeah. Uh, I can't think we can use the vessel! I can't think we can use the vessel! Not so fast! You're not fast! Victory, go to your head. Hmm. That's probably Tato Temple. It looks impressive even from far off. This old thing looks run down. Is that the entrance? We might be able to enter from over there. Let's check. Next move. I do not like the look of this. Monsters I can handle, but this place has got to be crawling with ghosts. Huh? It isn't even ocean related. We gotta take a look either way. It's our only lead about the wall. There appears to be something ahead beyond the antechamber. Nothing is moving, but we should continue with caution nonetheless. It's hard to tell in this light, but there's something further in. Huh. It's a turtle. No, it's not. It's a statue of a turtle. Or perhaps a monster. It's the prince from the poem! Which would mean... This sculpture must represent the princess. I suppose I see it. The turtle seems to reach out toward the princess like the prince would. Did you see that? Was that a tear? Statues can't cry. I do not see any tears. Are you suggesting that a stone carving can feel sadness? Come on, what was that poem you recited earlier? Once very long ago, a prince and princess sundered by walls of water vowed their love within the temple halls of mortar. Aha! A tear! I told you! I did see something shimmer around his eye. I surely stand corrected. It almost looked like it was reacting to your recitation, Palomina. I think you're on to something. Let's really give it something to cry about. Having fun at the turtle's expense, huh? Can you blame me? It's a crying statue! I want to make it ball like a baby! Palomina, where are you going? You do not hear it. Such a strange sound. She's acting like she did on the cape. Let's follow her. A crying turtle? A forgotten love poem? What is going on? Best to just let Karina and Palomina handle it.
Yes! this syrup. A princess's heart soared as she danced by her prince, but their love was forbidden in this instance. Forbidden love? Ooh, what's next? Tell me, tell me! Unfortunately, this particular passage is all I heard this time. I cannot attest to the rest. No way that was the end of the story. There are probably other things nearby that are kind of like this. Hmm. We should check another of the rooms. Sucker for forbidden love stories. I gotta know what happened to those two. I too am immensely intrigued by this rhyming riddle. Let us resume searching the rooms. When I regard this relic, I recall yet another ringing refrain. Once very long ago, a prince said to his princess as they danced together, he would not let her slip from his grasp whatsoever. Oh, the suspense! He might let go! Ugh! How does it end? The statue in the other room is indeed reaching out his hand to his princess. It's acting out Palomina's poem. We have to keep looking. That's another room down. You doing okay, Morley? Uh, it's nothing. I'm just not accustomed to Karina's enthusiasm for this.
Much obliged. Oh, a subsequent stanza. Once very long ago, a princess looked at her hand now unclasped, and her tears swelled like waves as in sorrow she gasped. That liar! He said he'd never let go, and then he just up and left her? You might be too invested in this story. It does pluck at the heartstrings. Tears swelled like waves as in sorrow she gasped, right? The princess's tears must have something to do with the wall of waves, but that's all I've got so far. How could he have let go of her hand like that? What drove him apart? I have to know. The adjacent antechamber may have some answers. Got some syrup. I'll take you all on. And so the love story between the pair played out. Once very long ago, a prince remained trapped by the waves alone, waiting for his beloved dance partner to return home. <laughs> How tragic! How cruel! The two lovers were torn from each other's sides! Karina is crying more than the statue. Just you wait until the turtle hears the whole tale. You'll see, he'll be sobbing way harder. Let's return to the hall and find out then, shall we? Something might have changed in the main room. I bet that turtle has fallen its eyes out by now. <laughs> what did they? Here, use this. Now we've searched everywhere. <sighs> it seems like the prince and the princess were broken-hearted in the end. We should recite the entire story, and pray for their happiness in the next life. Once very long ago, a prince and princess sundered by walls of water vowed their love within the temple halls of mortar. Once very long ago, a princess's heart soared as she danced by her prince, but their love was forbidden in this instance. Once very long ago, a prince said to his princess as they danced together, he would not let her slip from his grasp whatsoever. Once very long ago, a princess looked at her hand now unclasped, and her tears swelled like waves as in sorrow she gasped. Once very long ago, a prince remained trapped by the waves alone, waiting for his beloved dance partner to return home. May the two souls dance again together one day. Is the prince from the story supposed to be vengeful? Uh, that's not what I pictured. Verily, this is Vuskov, the sacred beast of legend. Vuskov, Vuskov? Who cares what his name is? He's coming right for us! Let's talk this out! 
he has lost himself in his haste. We must stop his rampage. This whole experience has been more than a body Your mind! Not so fast!
He seems to realize this was a simple misunderstanding. Does he want us to follow him? I think we should. He's headed for the coast, I think. Don't fall behind! He is trying to tell us something. But what could it be? We'll know once we catch up to him. Come on! 